Yo! Yeah! The other day I went to visit Dad's grave. It's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. How was it? Well... Felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <laughs> Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. Felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. Pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting mom, trying to catch this killer. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through as my own self. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. It's 
sir. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I gotta go buy supplies. I need a jet. Damn, that's good! Yeah! Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. And she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. 
Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like when the police suspected me. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. This? For reals? <laughs> I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. Welcome back.
Welcome back.
Welcome back.
You're back. Senpai. Gee. Good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo!
Thank <laughs> you. 
was called out here. What's going on? Hmm? I'm going in too?
Jack. Is everyone ready? Get set. Yes! Yeah, go, go, go! Good start. That's some thick skin. <laughs> Senpai, that was so cool. <laughs> Just what I'd expect. All right. Okay. Places, everyone. And action. Yeah, here goes. Go. Beat him up.
Don't it. give up now, okay? Soda! Are you ready? Oh. 